Upgrading Your Skills to MCSA Windows Server 2012 Exam Question number 3 Your network contains an active directory domain named contiso.com. The domain contains two member servers named Server 1 and Server 2 that run Windows Server 2012 R2. You log on to Server 1. You need to retrieve a list of the active TCP connections on Server 2. Which command should you run from Server 1? A. Netstat Server 2. B. WinRM Get Server 2. C. Win RSR Server 2 Netstat. D. DS Query Scope Base Trip Server 2. Correct answer, C. Explanation. This command line tool enables administrators to remotely execute most cmd.x commands using the WS Management Protocol. Question number 12. You are a network administrator of an active directory domain named contiso.com. You have a server named Server1 that runs Windows Server 2012 R2. Server 1 has the DHCP server server role and the network policy server role service installed. You enable network access protection, NAP, on all of the DHCP scopes on Server 1. You need to create a DHCP policy that will apply to all of the NAP non-compliant DHCP clients. Which criteria should you specify when you create the DHCP policy? A. The user class. B. The vendor class. C. The client identifier. D. The relay agent information. Correct answer, A. Question number 13. A user has locked his account, again, and you need to unlock it so they can continue working normally. Which of the following is a possible way to unlock a user account? Choose 3. A. Command line. B. None of these. C. Windows PowerShell. D. VB script. Correct answer, A, C, D. Explanation. All three of these can be used to unlock accounts. Question number 38. Your manager has asked you to configure the company Windows Server 2008 domain controller. He wants all new computer accounts to be placed in the general OU, when computers join the domain. Which command should you use to accomplish this? A. Netdom. B. DS Move. C. None of these. D. Redirect computer. Correct answer, D. Question number 39. You have a print server named Print1 that runs Windows Server 2012 R2. Print1 has 10 share printers. You need to change the location of the spool folder. What should you modify? A. The properties of the print spooler service. B. The print server properties. C. The user environment variables. D. The print queue.inf file. Correct answer, B. Question number 41. Your network contains an active directory domain named contiso.com. The domain contains two servers named Server 1 and Server 2 that run Windows Server 2012 R2. You create a security template named Template 1 by using the security template Snap-in. You need to apply Template 1 to Server 2. Which tool should you use? A. Security Configuration and Analysis B. Server Manager C. Security Template D. Computer Management Correct answer, A. Question number 43. 
your network contains an active directory forest named condiso.com. The forest contains four domains. All servers run Windows Server 2012 R2. Each domain has a user named User1. You have a file server named Server1 that is used to synchronize user folders by using the work folders role service. Server1 has a work folder named Sync1. You need to ensure that each user has a separate folder in Sync1. What should you do? A. From Windows Explorer, modify the sharing properties of Sync1. B. Run the set sync server setting commandlet. C. From file and storage services in Server Manager, modify the properties of Sync1. D. Run the set sync share commandlet. Correct answer, D. To view the full exam questions and answers please visit www.examlabs.com.